Welcome to the future, you guys. We are running a little bit behind today because we're doing something different. If you can't tell already, we're doing a quiz show today. I'm fresh and back from Anime, oops, Anime Expo. Where is it? There it is, Anime Expo, and I'm excited to be doing the live stream again with you guys today. Today, we're doing something a little different. We're going to design an episode purely on one book in particular, a book that you need to be reading right there, The Win Without Pitching Manifesto. If you haven't read this book yet, what is wrong with you? If you want to charge more and be seen as an expert, you need to go through this book like it's your Bible, okay? We have the Young Guns on today, live. That's why it's been a little bit complicated to work out all the little bit of details. But guys, are you guys ready to talk to the Young, young Guns? Yes, we are. <laughs> Which gun? <laughs> 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 How many times we do this? You guys just can't figure it out. All right, no, no more so funny sound effects. It didn't happen. You remember how we didn't rehearse, rehearse this show? Because it's rehearsal. raw and it's real and it's live. As raw well, as it can be. Whatever. It's it's a little bit cooler in Los Angeles, thank God, because my brain was melting. You know what? Forget about enough banter. Let's roll the titles. All right, we're back. Let's meet these young guns, these five gentlemen. Let's meet the contestants that are playing in our game show today. And of course, everybody's tuning in on YouTube and Facebook. We, we're monitoring your comments. You can play along as well and keep score. Let's see how you guys do. So here are the young guns. Let's meet them. Boom. Hey guys, my name is Arun. I'm live from Delhi, India. It's 12 a.m. over here, and I'm gonna take that W even if I have to stay awake all night. Oh, <laughs> hold on, man. Your little premature. We didn't even get a chance to cut to your screen yet, and you're like firing away. It's all good. Arun, it's midnight there. Thanks for staying up. How old are you again? I am 23. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's let's see if we can't prove something that uh, Indians are really smart, right? So let's see if you take away the price today. Did you study? Yeah, I did. Are you a good student? I would, I would say I okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm average. I'm average student. <laughs> I always hated exams, so. Okay. All right. Let's meet our next contestant. That is Mr. Connor. Connor, what's up, man? Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Connor here, streaming from the UK. It's not quite as late as it is where Aaron is, but um, if you snooze, you're gonna lose. So <laughs> <laughs> Taking jabs. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Well, you know, Connor f came out of the gate the strongest because he's probably got the most experience of anybody here. So naturally, he took the first challenge. Uh, and then, you know, somebody else kind of got in there, and his name is Sean. Sean, what is up, dude? Hey, everybody. My name is Sean Campbell. I'm live from New Jersey, and uh, I'm going for the second dub today. Two. <laughs> Clean cut. You're, you're starting to look like a man now. Look at you. When we first met you, you're like 16 years old and all pimply, and now you're like clean. Nice. It's going good. It's going good. Just double click. All right, here we go. So uh, let's let's uh, meet our next contestant. Our fourth contestant is Sharif. Sharif, what's up, man? Hello, everyone. This is Sharif Al Komi from Cairo, Egypt, representing 90 million Egyptians, and I'm not sure how many Africans, but I'm here for the win. I love nice. that. Even without it. Represent. So you have the power of the people with you on this one. Yes. You're calling upon the ancient ones too. I love that's, this. That's a lot yes, of people. Yes. All right. That's that. The OG that's... continent. <laughs> <laughs> the cradle of civilization, man. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if uh, how you guys have fared with uh, two, three thousand years of evolution. Let's see what happens. Okay. And last but not least is Spencer. Spencer, what is up, man? What's up, guys? Spencer here. Uh, I'm 18 years old and you're in Simi Valley, California. Um, so let's do this. I'm super excited. And, uh, <laughs> hey, yo, Spencer, try to contain yourself with your excitement there. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited to be here in Simi Valley, California. Hey, why are we looking at yeah. Sean? What is going on? Sean, don't make any noise. Okay, Spencer, you are yeah. a really relatively young guy. You're still in. You're still in high school, aren't you? Yeah, just graduated like a couple weeks. Just graduated. Ago. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. All right, Thank you. so. That means you're almost like legal, like you're 18 yet or no? I'm 18, yeah. Wow, excellent. Yeah. Okay, now some of you guys don't know this, but Spencer is a child actor. 
Did you guys know this? Yeah. He no, was on I did the not. series oh. Big Love. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. we have a celebrity in the house. <laughs> I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about Spencer, dude. If you guys watch Big Love, excellent show on HBO. Spencer's one of the kids. Nice. Obviously, because he's a kid, he's not gonna play the grandpa. <laughs> All, right. All right, enough, enough nonsense. Um, we got people tuning in. Our audio is good. Are we hot? Are we ready to rock? Everything's good. Everything's good. We got the YouTube feed okay, up. Okay, so up. if you guys are watching this live with us, just say hi. Tell us where you're from, and tell us right now. Give us your prediction: is who's going to walk away the winner of this quiz show? Go ahead and type it in. Their names are Arun, Connor, Sean. Sharif and Spencer. Now we'll forgive you for any kind of spelling mistakes. That's okay. We'll get the intent. Put it in there. And if you put it in there right now, at the end of the show, whoever wins, we'll, we'll do like a random drawing uh, to give away a couple copies of the book, The Win Without Pitching Manifesto. How, how about that? Does that sound good? That's a great prize. So we'll have to figure this thing out. All right. And we'll ship it to you wherever you are in the world. All right. Whoever's adjusting their cup and drinking water really loudly. Oh, it's Knock the movie it star, movie star Movie guy. star, he's gotta stay hydrated. Quiet on the set. Come on, man, <laughs> quiet on the set. This is a lock set. Okay, here we go, All there right. are three rounds. Let me explain to everybody that's watching. There are three rounds to this. Round number one is going to be worth 100 points and Mark Contreras and Aaron, and I forgot to mention everybody on the Dream Team, Erica are helping us keep score and all that kind of stuff. Each question, there we go, beautiful, hello. We have 12 questions. Are you guys ready to go? Here's how this is going to work. I'm gonna ask you guys a question, and I'm gonna give you like five seconds to figure out what the answer is, and then when I prompt you, all of you guys hold up your answer to the screen. Now everybody here uh, that's tuning in live, uh, that's part of our show that, I'm sorry, um, the five young guns, they've been instructed to hold up their card and reveal their answer, so we'll know who's done their homework, okay? I'm gonna caution you guys here, don't be quick to figure out what the answer is, because some of them are a little bit tricky. That some of them appear to be true, but only true to the book. That's what we care about. That's the important thing here. Okay, are you guys ready? Hands on your buzzer. Uh, there's no buzzer. I'm just saying that. All right, let's get the show on here. here and then there, there's negative points too. There are negative points. That's right. If you guess wrong, you will lose a point. So the lowest that you can be at is zero, and hopefully you you don't end the show with zero points. Here's the first question, you guys. The client typically has the power in the buy-sell relationship. What is the source of that power? Is it A, choice? Is it B, money? Is it C, procurement policies? Is it D, your irrelevant offering? Mm. Uh, can we cut to the screen again, Erica, it's just so that the home audience has a chance to look at this? All right. Okay. All right. Um, okay, that's enough time. Everybody hold up your answer. You guys got to wait for me to tell you to hold up your answer. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Do you know how this works? Okay, there we are. Arun Everybody's had good. it first, that's song. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And what would you guys say, Mark and Aaron? Uh, hey, choice. Choice? Why do you believe it to be choice, guys? Okay, you guys put your, your answers down. Why do you believe it to be choice? Because they have so many choices. And me, as a as the guy doing the work, I got one option. It's that, the guy, the, the job. Oh, right, I see. So when there's a lot of replacements for you, the client has all the power. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's reveal the answer, and the answer is there. Good job, guys. I knew it. Woo -woo. <laughs> ding, ding. Nailed it. Nailed it. Very so good. who wins? Arun wins. No, they all win a oh, point. Everyone got a point. Oh, it's that kind of game, huh? Everybody wins. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> everyone gets a trophy. Right. They won, so. <laughs> You, you win just by participating, oh, man. <laughs> I, I know what, Aaron and I mean, Mark. I'll take that. Participation you, patch, yes, please. Yeah, that works. Aaron and Mark, you guys can play along. Why don't you take a pen and write your answers down? Yeah, so I, I can win do. too, right? Yeah. yeah. Considering right. neither of you guys have read the book. I'm just going to yell out the answer. Is that cool? No. <laughs> this will be fascinating, okay? This will be fascinating to see how well you guys do, considering you did not read the book. I read all. the book, most of it. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Oh, interesting. A competitive advantage over yeah. Mark. Okay. All right. Here we go. Next question. So everybody has 100 points, right, Mark? Yeah, so we'll check the score at the end of this round. Okay, hopefully the internet, you guys can also play along, type in your answer in the chat window or the comments box. All right, question number two. The dirty little secret of the creative professions is that we are addicted to what? A, mm. money. B, fame. C, no the big up. reveal. Or D, New idea. Arun, you're supposed to wait, buddy. Wait, dude. If you don't follow instructions, <laughs> you're gonna get kicked off the show. Wait. All right. All right. Gentlemen, reveal your answer. The bigger. Okay, everybody is ready for this. 
And Mark and Aaron are also saying C. Okay, beautiful. It's important that, good. Mm. And the answer is C, the big reveal. Do you guys find that this to be true in your practice? You five uh, young guns? Yep. I think it's definitely exhilarating, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's a dirty little secret. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, guys. Hold on, hold on. I love how you oh, said it, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do my, my version of the Connor accent, all right? A dirty little secret. <laughs> how did I do? Terrible. Okay, whatever. All right, you guys, you guys are doing great. So that means that everybody at this point is tied with 200 points each. Maybe mm. this game show is too easy. Well, yeah, I think you got some tough harder. questions out or there. Or maybe they're one. just really prepared. I, I like that either way. Okay, here we go. All right, question three. The win without pitching rule of money is A, talk about it early, B, anchor high, C, it's impolite to talk about money early, D, those who don't talk about it don't make it. Hold on, do not reveal your answers. Mark and Aaron, you guys write it down. Okay. Internet audience, go ahead and slam that your answer into the chat window or the, the comment bar. Okay, you guys got it? Everybody's ready? Okay, reveal your answer, please. Oh, first time we have some descends oh, some here. different ones. Interesting, okay, hold on. Uh, I, Aaron, I can't see yours. Okay, I see, okay, 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 good. All right, you guys put your answers down. Who said A and why did you say it? Uh, um, I said A. I said A. Who said A? Yeah. Tell Arun. Me. Arun said A. Arun, why'd you say A? Uh, me too. Uh, because if you don't talk about it early, the client is gonna take control of the relationship later on, and then uh, you're gonna be in a position where you don't have power over it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, in a negotiation, the person more comfortable to talk about money is usually usually has the upper hand. Oh, okay, so you just so talk about it early. It's and very also to if, if if it's not a compatible fit, you just know it's a no and you just walk away early on without sinking any resources or time. That's quite interesting, Sharif. As you were talking, you say if you're not comfortable talking about money, you're going to lose, right? Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're making an argument for the answer, which is D! D! D. Guys. Uh, so who, who had that? Was, I had a... a the two people got it, right? Yeah. Was, uh, who, who got D? Sean? Sean. And Connor? No. Sean and Spencer. Spencer. Sean and Spencer. Sean and Spencer. Okay, beautiful. All right. Wow. <laughs> that was, that was right. <laughs> okay, so what we have to do is we have to understand that we have to get comfortable talking about money. It is important to talk about it early. It is important to anchor high. But the first rule is you must be comfortable talking about it. It's almost in, and this was a trick one, right? So you gotta have to think about it. The only one that's not true is see, it's impolite to talk about money. Actually, I wanna talk about this for a second, okay? Hopefully nobody said C. Aaron, did you say C? I said A. No. <laughs> All right, here's the one thing. When a client asks you about the budget and how much you charge, if you're not, if you're reluctant to talk about the money and you think that because it's not professional to talk about money because it's, you know, you're cheapening the art, you're actually doing the wrong thing. It shows poor business acumen not to be able to talk about money and to act in a professional way. So you must talk about money. And if you do it early, it helps you out. I have a question about that, Fire actually, away, Chris. Should you talk about, like, you know, the what the job's about and kind of how I, how I work in my process before I talk about money? Or do you just really talk about money first thing? Well, it, it depends. And if we're talking about the Win Without Pitching Manifesto, we as um, vendors are not supposed to be pitching and selling ourselves ever, okay? So when, when we are engaged with a client, we listen to what the problem is and if they are self-diagnosing and self-prescribing, we need to restart that conversation and start at, at a strategic level. But one thing is if we feel like the clients can't afford what it is that we do, and we know that by the referral source or how they found us, we can quickly say, before we dive too deep into this conversation, I need to know what kind of budget you're working with. Typically, typically for something like this, I charge between X and X, and then you would anchor high. So you got to kind of let them tell you a little bit about the project first. A little first. bit, a little bit. Not a lot, because you do your normal things like, hello, thank you so much for calling me. I appreciate the opportunity. From what I'm hearing from you right away, you need a new logo or identity system or a new website. That's super awesome. This is what I do. However, before we do that, let's talk a little bit about your budget, because 
as I've been doing this, there are many clients who come to me that I would love to help, but they just simply cannot afford me. All right, That's awesome. It. Good answer. Thank All you, right. Chris. Thanks for asking that question, Aaron. Good job. All right, gentlemen, now there's some differences now. So whoever got a wrong mark, I guess they lose. Should we make them lose points or just keep it going positive? I guess we'll just keep going positive. Keep going positive. Here. It's too yeah. much math for yeah. us. All right, All right so guys. Sean and Spencer are up. All right. So we've, we've asked three questions right now. So if you guys are playing along, who has a perfect score so far on the internet? Just type in in the chat window, type in me, and we'll know. And are you guys monitoring that? Are there a bunch of people saying me right now? Because I can't watch Let's my YouTube uh, comments right now. They're not coming in yet, but... They're not coming in. Yeah. You know what? I need to fire up on my phone here. Hold on. I can do yeah. this. Um, yep, a couple people have couple people are all perfect. of them. Yep. All of them are perfect? Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. That would not be real. I know that for sure. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, good, good. I've seen you guys. Me, me, me. Okay. No, Sounds like uh, those pigeons from Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> me, me. Moin. 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 Oh, mine. <laughs> Moin. <laughs> Moin. Moin. <laughs> oh, I see. There's a little accent going on there. Okay, Moin. question number four. This one's kind of hard, you guys. Kind of hard. The fourth priority of winning new business after one, win without pitching, two, derail the pitch three gain the inside track is what's the fourth priority is it a pitch at this point b change the rules c walk away or d ask for concessions all right guys put your thinking caps on okay you guys okay okay you guys reveal your answer oh okay all around everybody Looks okay like everybody says c and the correct answer is C, Boom. walk right, away, everybody. walk away, okay? So this is not much of a trick question because the whole book is called Win Without Pitching. So if you typed in A, <laughs> slap yourself in the face right now. Um, yeah, despite the title, I'm going to pitch now at this point. No, you just walk away, all right? Okay, next question. Everybody got that one right. Next question. You did. The proposal is the words that come out of your, our mouths. The document is what? So this is kind of a strange thing. The proposal is what you say. The document is what? A, the contract. B, the deck. C, bios. D, findings and recommendations. Okay, everybody think about that. I need a timer here, timer sound. We'll use this instead. <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> We're running the show on a budget, you guys. Okay, guys, reveal your answer. Young Guns. Oh, okay, some dissent here. So some people are, let's see here, you guys, okay. All right, why do you think the answer is what you say it is? Gentlemen, young guns? Which one? Anyone, you can, just, you can tell me why. Okay, Spencer, you're up. Okay. Why do you say findings and recommendations? <clears throat> so, well, for one, the, the contract is something that they say um, you should um, avoid because, um, God, I'm totally losing my train of thought. Okay, we'll, we'll cut to somebody else. Sharif. <laughs> Sorry, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. No, no worries. Fine. Who, who else is up? Why, why did you pick the answer that you picked? Okay. I heard my name. Who's messing around with the mouse there? <laughs> Let's get that thing working. What the? Sharif, what do, you, what do you got? Oh, yeah, I said that it's the contract because uh, like once, once you have a conversation with a client and you determine a fit and everything's ready to go, you draft up that contract and uh, get the job rolling, you know, get the first payment and uh, start doing the work. You're ready to rock and roll. Okay. Yeah. And then who else? Had I, I actually disagree. I disagree. Okay. So I think that <laughs> you don't need a contract because it's already been agreed in, in like verbally. Like because you have the oh, so you, you, like you stake on it. Well, so you want yeah, to well, do well, like kind a, of. They're saying they're saying they see the uh, the wind without pitching says that the contract is kind of like, uh, like busy work almost. Like if you had already agreed with it in conversation, to write it out is how he says like uh, like another hundred hours a year or something. That's Good. just kind of necessary. All right, let's get a different opinion. And I'll tell you yeah. the answer. Campbell, you had something to say. Uh, no? I did a second ago. Now I lost my train of thought. No. So people are losing so lots of trains here. I disagree again with Spencer yeah. because findings and recommendations suggest that you've actually started to solve their problem and diagnose them further than what you've already said. Like mm -hmm. the initial conversation, yeah. the contract is purely the right written version of that conversation. It's no different than you having a telephone call and someone scribing it down or in court. They have to have a written copy so that you can go back to it and reflect on it to ensure you're both on the same page. 
You know what? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. The, Even if the, the public version of the proposal, right? So the proposal is all verbal, and then you write it down yeah. in a contract, and that's a public agreement. Okay. Uh, before we get into that, I just want to say, I, I, I'm just more convinced when when you say it with a British accent. Yeah. yeah. It's much more convincing, man. <laughs> Very Sean, much. Sean, Sean, be so quiet. Afraid. Be quiet. Don't, don't interrupt Connor. Connor, please say more, some, something else. <laughs> well, <laughs> You're doing really good. All right, let me clear it up. First, I'm going to reveal the answer. And all those, everybody that you, that is watching this, you guys can go ahead and you still have a chance to chime in here and just put in your answer in the comment box, okay? <clears throat> How many people are watching live right now, even though we got started a little late? Let's see here. YouTube, we have... How many people do 25. That? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're so popular, we have 25 people, and it's basically family and friends. <laughs> any, any day now? Yeah, I have to okay. expand. 278 on YouTube. 278. Yeah. Okay, we're not that popular today, guys. Maybe people don't want to learn today. That's all right. Okay, the answer is, the answer is, here goes. Oh. The contract, oh, you guys. The contract. Shit. All right. Okay, so who so, got that? I did. That was Connor. Anybody Only else? Connor? Only Connor? No, oh, I, got I got it. I got it. Sean and Sharif. Sean and Sharif. Let's talk and about Sean this. And okay. Now here's the thing. I want to I want to just teach you some things uh, or share some things that that Blair has taught me through his books. One is a lot of us are afraid to talk about money. So what we do is we keep punting that conversation down the line. So while we're talking to the client, we're thinking, I wonder if you can afford this or not. So what happens is later we go back to our computers and we work on this giant proposal and we're working on this. This is what Spencer's talking about. You're just trying to convince, you're showing your bios, you're writing up your capabilities, all this kind of stuff. In the meantime, you're still thinking, what should I charge the client? What can they afford? And the reason why you don't know and why it's a big guessing game is because you've never broached the subject, okay? So he's saying what you say is the proposal. So we're gonna do X, Y, and Z for $10,000. How does that sound to you? So the client's gonna have several options. You're crazy, I love it, or I don't know. Let's go through each option here. So if they said, that's great. What you do is you go back and you write a document. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z for $10,000. It can be done in one page. That's it. And you want an agreement there and that's it. Okay. The other option is you're crazy. Then you have some options there and you can say, why am I crazy? What were you expecting to pay for this? And you can have a dialogue about it. And if you're miles apart, you just need to walk away at this point. Or you can spend some time and you can diagnose the problem. And typically one of the things I like to respond with is, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I thought you're trying to solve a major problem, but it sounds like you're trying to solve a minor problem because the amount of money you've allocated for this says that it's not a very important problem to solve. And I understand that, for which I think you can hire many people for, okay? Now, if they are hesitant, they're like, hmm, I don't know, I need to think about this. I need you to be a little bit smarter and I need you to sit there and ask them, what is this that's uncomfortable for you? What are you more comfortable spending? So we don't wanna walk away feeling uneasy uh, or a sense of being uneasy from the client and not talking about it. We need to talk about this and we need to talk about it up front, all right? There's a lot more to this part of it, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. We, ha we have a show to run. Let's keep rocking and rolling, okay? Let's go. So what is the score count so far? Who's, who's, uh, who's on top right Sean's now? Sean's up with five points and Connor, Sharif, Spencer with four, Rune with three. Okay, we're still pretty close. There's a, you, you got a dog in this race. You guys can still pull it out. In the next round, uh, when we get to it, you'll have a chance to win double points. Okay, here we go, you guys. The vital first step of positioning requires firms to A, calculate our rates, B, choose a focus, C, add the missing skills of our expertise, or D, identify the competition. Mm. Getting a little harder, guys. Okay, everybody think about harder. it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and add your comment or your answer, your guess. All right, you guys, reveal your answer. Oh, everybody All around. B. All around. Okay, no mystery there. The answer is B. Good job. B. All right, very good. We must choose a focus. And I know creative people struggle with this all the time because we like to do lots of different things. No matter how many times I've said this on air, choose a vertical, develop a T-skill, deep skill, deep expertise, narrow what you do so that it's easy for people to figure out you're really good at this. And why? Because we've already established this. If you are very wide, you have lots of competition. If you're narrow and deep, there's fewer people to compete. So you are taking away the client's power, which is choice. I have a question about that. Yes, please. 
Like, how specific do you want to be? Like, if I'm, let's say, a hand lettering artist, mm -hmm. is that a special specialized enough, or or could I do hand lettering for like skateboard companies? The more specialized you are, the better off you are. Okay. Hand lettering is specialized enough, but just for skateboarding companies is even better because any skateboarding company is going to know you and say, "Wow, this person is the person you want to work with for skateboard graphics." You become the guy. Now there is a potential problem with that because how many skateboarding companies need hand lettered graphics? I don't know. So I think it's okay to say hand lettering, but if you, um, I think there's a story, I don't know if it's real, it's about like this cruise ship that they launched, it's like 110, 100, I don't know, gazillion dollars, millions of dollars to create this cruise ship, and on its inaugural day, they couldn't get the engine started. So they sent a whole bunch of people in to try and fix it, and they couldn't figure anything out. And this man walks up, he's like, you know, I can, I can fix this, I'm an engineer, I can figure it out for you, I'll charge you $30,000. They're like, okay, he goes in, he hits something, something works, it turns on, and he leaves. So he's like, give me my $30,000. <laughs> because he's an expert. He's so, um, he has so much experience working on a very specific thing. His time is worth that much, Got that it. knowledge, okay? All right, let's keep moving on. Are there any questions or comments coming in from YouTube or Facebook? <laughs> Chris, Chris is not, not human. human. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, what? <laughs> Someone said you're not human. What am I then? Robot. <laughs> I'm a host Robot. from Westworld, you guys. <laughs> Whoa. Um, please someone all says, functions. Someone yes. says, please keep these live shows going. So we got some love for the live shows still. Love it. Okay, share. If you're watching live and you want to see more of this, go get three more people to tune in. We need to see our numbers go up here. All right. Here we go. We're going to the next question, you guys. Here we go. The saying that we win more often than not when we choose when and where to compete illustrates which term? A sales advantage, conversation, C, presentation, and D, persuasion. Let me do that again because I messed that part up. A, sales advantage, B, conversation, C, presentation, D, persuasion. That should be enough time for you guys to answer the question. All right, review your answer. Yo, dude, what's up with the late reveal? <laughs> okay, all right. So almost everybody said that. Oh, you guys are doing great. The answer is A, it's a sales advantage. These yeah. are too easy, man. They're too easy. Aaron, you're too smart. Maybe that's true. It must be that Cal State Northridge <laughs> education you got. Yeah, wow. sharp as a blade over here. Watch out. <laughs> 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 you no, know, Aaron, I mean, look. I know people give you a hard time sometimes. On the you give me a hard time. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Just Chris. <laughs> Actually, I encourage people giving Aaron a hard time. Look at Aaron today. He's got some Jerry Curl action going on. He's got a T-shirt. He's uh, You should see waist down, man. It's yeah. super beach. Stand up. Super beach out. No, 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 no. That's all right. All right. Let's, let's, let's keep a torso up only. Okay. Uh, but actually, despite you barely reading this book, I guess, you've actually been able to retain this. Well, what do you uh, attribute to your, your business acumen, Aaron? Well, I mean, I hang out with you all day, so it's kind of like we the best your, way to... That's probably it. Yeah, we edit your videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <You> Brainwashed. <laughs> no one knows your stuff better than us right here, man. That's a I guessed a couple of them, but I've never read the book. I just uh, remember it from um, what you've talked about, especially when editing Business Boot Camp. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. So that means that if you edit this material, you're actually learning, Yeah. right? Yeah. This is fantastic. So maybe, sure are. maybe you guys should pay me instead because I'm taking you to school. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway. I like this way. All right. This is interesting. I'm going to propose an idea for an episode for a client that I, could, I don't care that much about. I'd like to see Aaron and Mark go in and do the new business meeting. Let's see how they do. And we can film the whole thing and see that'd what cool. happens. Let's do it. Would that be cool? Yeah. yeah. All right. Be Aaron's, cool. Aaron's very happy I'm with that. I'm all for it. All right, Mark, we're good. Here's the next question. In order to show the market our thought leadership, Win Without Pitching instructs us to do what? A, fulfill charity work through pro bono projects. B, write based on our area of expertise. C, win industry awards. D, none of these. Hmm, okay. You guys ready? So this is according to the book. According to the book. How do we demonstrate thought leadership? All right, show us your answer, you guys. B, 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 C, interesting. Okay, the answer is B. Okay, now, now you guys, the reason why it's according to the Win Without Pitching book 
is because Blair writes. Yeah. So he's going to demonstrate his expertise through writing. He can do other stuff, too. You can do other stuff. If you are a good public speaker, you can demonstrate your thinking through public speaking or through videos. You can do that. So whatever is... Uh, or if you're a photographer, you're going to demonstrate your expertise by taking great photos. But there's something power, there's something powerful about the written word. I think our culture and our society, we put a lot of emphasis on, on the written word, in, especially in book form. So if you're a published author, that really says, I literally wrote the book on that subject, and that really helps you, especially with SEO and all that kind of stuff. Words help. Okay? So good job. So everybody got the answer right except for who? Mark. I got he, it wrong. He got it wrong. Mark got okay, it wrong. Mark, I got it wrong. Mark, you're off the show. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Fired. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Okay, he didn't read the book, so that's, he's doing really well actually. For guessing, okay. Here's the next question: Before before beginning any creative development on any project, we will first agree on what success benchmarks. A success benchmarks. B schedule of deliverables. C strategy, and D project leads. What are we going? What are we gonna do? Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, reveal your answers, please. Uh -oh. Everybody said C strategy. Uh oh, uh -oh. Aaron, Aaron says get a success <laughs> benchmarks. See, Aaron, I wrote hey. that one just for you. The answer is C. <laughs> okay. C is the correct answer. And all the guys got it. The strategy? What? That seems so vague, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what does that even mean, strategy? It's super vague. We have to figure out what it is that we're going to be doing. It's more like how we're going to be doing it, right? The strategy? No, not necessarily. Well, I'm not going to debate it. Let's just keep moving on. Right. <laughs> Aaron is not happy because he missed one question. <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to derail the whole show just to deal with his one issue, right? All right, let's go. <clears throat> oh, I just want to respond to something. Jessica, Jessica, on, on you. Wait, no, where is I? I? I was scrolling too fast on my phone here. Never mind. All right, never mind, Jessica. Jessica, should we answer or talk to our audience right now? Mark, do we have a good question somewhere? Let's see. No really uh, good questions. Just more comments in and people are answering in. Someone, okay. someone says, let Connor talk. Let Connor talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. For this next question, and I'm showing zero bias right now, zero bias, all right? We're going to have Connor read the question with the answers. Okay, you ready, Connor? Oh, here we go. Yeah. yeah go get your it. speaking voice on, man. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah. The client reserves the right to change his mind until he A. Sends a confirmation letter B. Issues an advance payment C. Issues a schedule of payments D. Satisfied with the creative pitch mm. This question is for one million dollars <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well, uh, huh. Schedule, huh? Should we schedule this? Schedule Right? Alright, love it Okay, you guys, are you guys ready with the answer? You guys ready? Okay, reveal your answers, guys. All right, everybody got the answer correct. Issues and advance payment, correct. All around? Good job. All I'm going to give you guys a little applause for that. Good job, guys. And thank you for reading that. Uh, I, I'm going to queue up Spencer for the next one since he's a thespian. Why don't you read it with some dramatic flair? All right, Spencer, are you uh, ready to read the next one? I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Go ahead. Purpose of charity pro bono project. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. You're not allowed to do the fake British accent. Sorry, sir. I just, I no, no, that was My something. My heritage is British. My heritage is British. No, I just want you to do it in your uh, your big love voice. Come on, man. My big loud voice. I don't have no, a love. No, big love voice, man. Big love voice. Yeah, give us some tiny. dramatic reading here. I was here. tiny back then. <laughs> Hey, upsell to paid services. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. That's creepy. That's creepy. <laughs> All right, just read it any which way you want. Don't throw a fake accent on, though. Okay. Um, B. Practice client interactions without risk. C. Gain business connections. And D. Treat charity as charity, not as business development opportunity. All right. That was a little fractured reading. I'm going to have to do this one again because somebody, sometimes people listen to our show while driving. So we're going to do that again. Yeah. The purpose of, the, of doing charity pro bono project is to A. Upsell to paid services. B. Practice client interactions without risk. C, gain business connections. Or D, treat charity as charity, not as business development opportunity. Okay, are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Reveal your answers. 
Uh oh, uh oh, one dissenting voice. Arun, how do you feel about that? You feel confident? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Arun? I, yeah. Right now, I think you're trailing this competition. I think I'm going to have yeah. to instruct you to take off your future hat right now. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is D. The answer is D, you guys. All right, keep your hat on, but come on, man. Did you not study? What happened to Indians, man? I thought you guys ruled the world. <laughs> Okay, that was awkward silence right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I hate you, dude. All right, the answer was D. Okay. And the reason why it's D is a lot of us agree to take low or non-paying work thinking that we can then convert the client one day or it's a good way to practice or gain business connections. No, when you want to do charity work, just do it for the sake that you believe in the mission and don't think of it as developing business opportunities. I think that's a flawed way of thinking. All right. Here we go. Next question. Next question. You guys ready? According to the Win Without Pitching book, this is our highest value product. What is our highest value product? A, the final deliverable at the end of the project. B, the security that we deliver because of our experience. C, the expertise we provide through our thinking. And D, all of these. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's an easy one, man. Is it really? Yeah. You're pretty confident, Aaron. All right, maybe we made this too easy. All right, you guys, reveal your answer. What is the answer? Aaron was really fast to reveal. Okay, it is C. It is unanimous. You guys got it correct. Oh, run again. Good job. Okay. <clears throat> this marks the end of round one. Mark, can you give us the score? Okay. Let, let me, me see update. if I have some dramatic music. Hold on. Uh, what do we have? I got nothing, dude. All right. All Show right, Erica, us. you can cut to the screen. So we got Sean and Lead with 1,200 points. Wow. Trailing and equally trailing is Connor, Sharif, and Spencer, and Arun at 800. Yeah, I think the way we say that in the industry is there's a three way tie for second place. Not equally <laughs> trailing. <laughs> Who's ever heard of equally trailing? That's what they're doing. All right. <laughs> equally in second place. Okay. So who's our first place loser? <laughs> Call him out. Arun. Arun. Oh, Arun, man. All of India is crying right now. You know we have a lot of Indian fans. What are you going to say for yourself? Actually, all of India is sleeping right now. Yeah, but when they watch this episode later, they'll be crying. <laughs> and when they see yeah. you on the street, they're like, you do not represent us. <laughs> come on, dude. You got to come back strong. Okay. So I'm going to tell yep. you about next round now. Round two. Round two. Here we go. Round two. Each question is worth 200 points, and there's only four questions. Okay? Now, if you get this one wrong, I'm going to instruct Mark to take away 200 points. All right? So there's a lot at risk here. So the questions are a little bit tougher, not horribly tougher, but they're a little bit tougher. Are you guys ready? Okay. Ready. Are you still fill in the blank uh, questions? No, 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 no. Don't worry. Sharif, don't take control of my show, man. It's, that's round three. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Round three is the hardest one. Here we go. Okay. okay. For round two, according to the Win Without Pitching book, we shall only guarantee what? A, the return on investment. B, the entire spectrum of our offerings. C, the diagnosis and prescription. Or D, the project will deliver on time. What should, what's the only thing we should guarantee? Mm. It's a tough one. It's, it's a tough one. one. Hold on, guys. Think about this. I, I, made, I, I changed the answers it's on this tricky. one to make it really tough. All Maybe right? process of elimination. Can okay, help. okay. Yeah. Um, boys, reveal your answer. Come on, reveal your answer. Oh. Wait, I, wait, Erica, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't see their answer. So we have some D's, we have some C's. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody's going to lose 200 points right now. What do you guys say? You guys all say it's C? So yeah. there's the majority of the group says C, and the answer is C. C Boom. Uh-oh. So sad. So, Ooh. so sad. Stress relief. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, who lost 200 points? I did. <laughs> Sharif lost 200 points. Who yeah. else? No one else. Was just Nobody like, else. Just Sharif. Everybody else had Everybody else Z. had it, right? Yeah. Oh, someone else had no, D. There were two Ds else. up there. There were two Ds. Oh, there were? Who's being dishonest? I'm a C. I saw a C. Because Sharif was in the small and big screen. I'm oh, rewinding it. I see. It. I yeah. see. Oh. He was in two screens. He had a double oh, hit on okay, Sharif. Yeah. Sharif was doubly wrong. So 400 <laughs> points? So, yeah, you lost 200 points right there, right? 
So starting at 100, we're negative 100 then. This is the no, new no, no, chart, no, 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 no. or we're going from the original, no, original scoreboard? No, it's cumulative. Got it. Okay. So you take 200 points away from him and add, add 200 points to everybody else. Okay. So this is going to get really interesting. Okay. There's only four questions here, you guys. So there's still a chance here. All right. Somebody's got to knock Sean off. Otherwise, he's going to get that repeat win. He's going to get that repeat. You guys That's block that fun. shot. Block that shot. Here we go. Here we go. Next question. In order to ensure that discounts are respected as their proper value, the book requires that A, discounts be issued as certificates of credit, B, discounted services be paid in full before the beginning of the project, C, discounts are recognized by the client's attorney, and D, discounts are clearly identified in all written documents. I'm gonna give you guys a second to think about this. Mm-hmm. Aaron and Mark, you, got, you, you guys think you know what the answer is? I don't think I read this part of the book. Mm. I think I got that. You got it? Okay. Gentlemen, reveal right. your answers. What is it? Oh. Uh-oh. So, okay. Uh-oh. Me and Arun got the same one. That's not good. <laughs> Aaron and his brother from another mother, Arun, wrote down the same answer. How's that feeling right now, Aaron? It's what do you think? It's not feeling too good, man. It's not feeling too good. Okay, the answer is D. The discounts are clearly identified in all written documents. All right. That's the tough one, guys. All right, congratulations to everybody else that got it right. Mark, you okay with the score so yes. far? Okay. Question number three for round two, you guys. Stakes is high. The minimum level of engagement by the client is defined as A. Being present at all the scheduled meetings B. Responding to change order concerns within 24 hours of being notified C. Paying the annual fee minimum that a firm requires to begin a project D. All of these Are these a little tougher, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stumped on this one. This is yeah. the first one. All right, man. Sean's admitting some weakness here. This is his first yes. kryptonite. Hang in there, Quick, Sean. You can do it. this. I'm on I, I got to go eliminate on these two. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, don't influence anybody. Are you guys ready? When I say, guys, reveal your answer, you should be ready at this point. All right, ready? Reveal your answer. What? Oh, should, I can't see your thing. It's too much glare in your car. Did everybody get the same answer from them? No, okay. A rune yeah, with the dissenting voice there. Okay, you guys put your cards down. And Aaron and Mark, okay, the answer is C. C. Mm. Yeah. Cool. A rune, I pretty much are out of this race, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, in the final round, you can actually make up for it, and you might get really lucky, but if the past is any prediction on the future, it's not looking good for you, my friend. Not looking good for you at all. <clears throat> okay, the minimum level engagement is the amount in which a firm, a design firm like ours, decides we will not take any project for less than that dollar amount if they can't spend that annually. <clears throat> That's the thing. So if we determine, and Blair has a very simple formula for this, I'm just gonna give it to you. If your goal is to do $100,000 annually in gross income, you divide that number by 10. Hmm. And 10,000, and the reason why it's 10, because he thinks realistically you can do a really good job for 10 clients total. I know it's gonna shock a lot of you, so 10 clients total for the entire year. So you divide 100,000 by 10 and that would give you 10,000. So your MLE, if that's your goal, would be 10,000. So you can't take on any client that's going to spend less than $10,000 with you on an annual basis. So they can hire you for a project for 5K, but they have to also tell you that we have three more projects for 3K or 2K or 5K, whatever it is, so that in your mind at least, this is the client we're taking on. So what we do is we keep the clients that value us, that pay us well, and we slowly siphon off the clients that don't pay us well to make room for new clients. So let's say you have eight clients that are paying you what you want and two clients that are not. You're going to dismiss, fire, or retire those clients, and you're gonna look for two new clients to fill that gap. And these two new clients will be your new high, high paying benchmarks, okay? And you keep doing that, and it's like restacking those cards. All right, everybody? You guys understand? I think this is our last question for our, for the 200 point round, right, Mark? It is. <laughs> okay. And then we'll do a score a check at the end. Oh, my God. Oh, it is. No, is it? Isn't, oh, yeah, isn't this, this is repeat. Okay, sorry. So you guys don't get this question. 
Oh. Okay, that's it then. Mark, tell us the score. Got it right. Okay, so in first place, we still got Sean. And wow, my hair. Tied for second at 1,700 points, Connor and Spencer. Darn it, you guys, look at this. Okay, so by hair, Sean is leading, but Connor and Spencer are right in this. Now, I, I don't want to say this, but I feel like I got to say it. The brown people are not doing well right now. <laughs> you guys, what is going on with you guys? These are biased questions, man. <laughs> shit. They show race bias? Is that yeah. right, Aaron? Oh That's my what god, is. what is wrong? I, I need to see Sharif and Arun right now. Tell me why I should not kick you off Young Guns this, this second. Does that mean I'm colored too? Uh, hmm. Not sure because you won't have you only have white people. You have to keep us on. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Right. Oh. Five hundred oh points for hey, sure. Yes, for that. <laughs> ding ding ding! Diversity card wins. Strategy, man. You only have white guys on your show, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like doing affirmative action on us. Is that what you're saying? Come on, you guys. No, this no, is no, it. No. All right, this is it. Okay, we are entering round three. This is it, you guys. If you don't pull it out now, it's game over. And we know who's going to win this uh, if, if you guys don't pull it out. Okay. Each correct answer is now oh, worth 400 points. Whoa. You can do this. Okay. This is five fill in the blank questions. Okay. And now you guys need to get a clean piece of paper and write with a really dark marker, a fat marker. Okay. Here we go. When the alternatives to hiring us are many, the client will dictate what? When the alternatives to hiring us are many, the client will dictate what? Okay, easy on the marker sound effects. People hate that sound. Don't push so hard. Damn. Okay, I'll give you guys a little bit of time. Uh, where's my Jeopardy music? No, that's not it. This just in, Chris doesn't know how to use a soundboard. Yeah. Are you guys ready? I got it. Yeah. I need more sound effects is what I need. Okay. All right. Let's see your answer, you guys. What did you say? The price? Ooh. The price. Did everybody say the price? Mm. Interesting. Oh, I said price. Price. Process and budget. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Price? Aaron, you're wrong. Okay? Okay. Budget is close enough to price. I accept that as, a, as an answer, but it's the price. The answer is the price. Good job, you guys. Everybody gets Ooh. 400 points. Good Dang. job. I All right. Everybody. I got to... Change this grid now, okay. Okay, but you know what, Mark? Add, Mark, you yeah. don't have to change it, because everybody got it right. Oh, just keep it leveled. Keep it leveled. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> no, we're not gonna take points away for this round because it, it would kill everybody. Okay. Okay. So only when somebody advances, then we'll, we'll we'll chalk it up there. Okay. But you you can you can change the grid too. Okay. All right. Here's your next question, you guys. You guys did a good job. It, it gets a lot harder now. This is two fill in the blanks. We can measure the success of our positioning by gauging our ability to command two things simultaneously. A blank and a blank. What are the two advantages that we can command because we've done our positioning correctly? This one's tough, guys. Aaron, how do you feel? What's your confidence right now, Aaron? It's high. It's huh? kind of high. Oh. I got one of them. You oh, get like half the saying. points? No, no. It, you have to get both. You have to know what the two things that you, you're able to do. So if you position your firm correctly, you're able to have two things, two advantages. What are they? Okay, you guys ready? No. 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 <laughs> I mean, we can have a discussion about this. Okay, I'll, I'll wait for all, everybody to be ready. And try not to look at this up on the internet right now. This one's tough, guys. What if you only know one? Just write one. Then you get it wrong, buddy. That's wrong? Ah, no. Chris, why do we only change the deduction rule for the second round? Oh, you want them to lose points too? Or, Somebody's really or, confident right now. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> no, no, I, I want not to lose points for the last round. No, you can't do revisionist history, guys. No. <laughs> I love some of the answers coming off YouTube. Peace and love. <laughs> <laughs> you can come in, you have two distinct advantages. Peace and love. Peace and love. Oh, peace peace and a love. Okay, I love that. I like another one. It says that you can uh, dictate uh, quality and deadline. Fish and chips. Uh, there's there's <laughs> even better answers coming in. AMR oh, uh, Khalid is saying coffee and tea. <laughs> 
Okay, you guys need to read the book, obviously. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Uh, I have one. Okay, okay. Here we go. I, I tell you what. Let's cut to the to the screen, Erica. I want to do this one at a time. Spencer, we yeah, can measure the success of our position by oh. gauging our ability to command two things simultaneously. A what and a what? A power. So I said like power in the relationship, and kind of, and then okay. like how much you can charge, like your profits. And okay. Stuff. All right, all right, that's not bad, that's not correct. A okay. price premium is correct. You have half the answer correct. Okay. So very good, you get half a point, which is nothing. Okay. Who's next? Arun. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my God, you have all no right. idea. All right, who's next? All right, that's it, take off that hat right now. <laughs> you are done, you are done, dude. No, I'm just kidding, don't take it off. I'm just messing around with you. All right, wow. Uh, let me uh, let me see here. That's so... <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, uh, who's up next? Let's do let's do Sean. Sean, what you got for us? Uh, I said premium and timeline, but that doesn't seem right. All right, premium's right. At least you got one of them, and timeline is not correct. All right, yeah. all right. Now let's go to uh, Sharif. Sharif, yeah, like really confident. He's like, let's take points off on this one if you don't get it right. A sales advantage and a price premium. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. That yeah. is correct. Nice. That's it. Yeah. Nailed it. Why did you feel so confident you knew that one? Because I uh, he knew remember that one. it. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't hear him. Why, why do you feel like I, you got that? I explained the entire book to a friend today at work. Oh, wow. Just went through the entire book. Well, that didn't seem <laughs> so to help me with the rest of the questions. No, <laughs> the, the, first, one. The, first question, the first question, I'm still sure of my answer. The second question, I, I just freaked out. And all right, all right. Answer. You're good. So okay. that, the second question's on me. Okay, so he got 400 points there. Man, okay. he's gonna rocket forward on that one. Okay, who else do we have to do? We have to do Connor. Connor, what did you say the answer was? I put control and price, but I spent ages being like, it's something A and A. So <laughs> neither of those words fit in that sentence. So there's but, a lot of things: a hot and a dog. Yeah, exactly. A fish and a chip. I get it. Okay, so basically, Which, only one person got it right, right? Just yeah. So if it was a oh, one in, one out of two, then no points. No. No points. Okay. No points. Zero points. We don't do that. It's all or nothing, you guys. Well, we so good job. Good job. Okay. Oh. Woo! Look at this. Uh, Sharif may. Uh, is he? Does he have a shot now? Mark. Calculating. Okay, calculating. calculating the computer's still processing. Okay, so that's the answer right there. Is a sales advantage and a price premium. You guys understand what this is? Like when you position your firm correctly, you can charge more than everybody else. This is something that I always strive to do. You know, when you get into a situation when you're doing a three-way competitive bid, I'd always tell my executive producer, I want to win the job and I want to be the most expensive bid, period. Because most people start thinking, oh, let's come in a little low. I'm like, no, we don't do that. That's how I know we're, we're going to be different and specialized and show our expertise that they really want to work with us, okay? And that, of course, gives you a sales advantage. Absolutely. Shut up, Aaron. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Aaron? What are you trying to do? Nothing. I just agree with you. It's a good answer. I don't. I don't trust that smile of yours. It's very suspicious. Because I'm brown. Is that? Is that what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look. Don't make me do some brown and brown crime on you. Because I'm part of the tribe too. All right? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, you calling me credentials on this? <laughs> what are you saying? Is I'm, a, I'm right a fair weather it? Asian. What, what yeah. I mean. Here? Yeah. You're. Yeah. I'm very a fair. Of We're all people of color. I'm a POC too. All right, guys. All right. Here we go. Next question. All right, you guys, this is, I think, number three here of fill in the blank. All right, here we go. Shh, quiet on the set. We will never put our clients or ourselves in the position where we are prescribing solutions without first what? We will never put our clients or ourselves in the position where we are prescribing solutions without first doing what? Hmm. There's not a one-word answer, but let's see what you guys come up with. You guys ready? Yep. 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 All right. Let's let's cut to their screens and let's uh, let's start. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do things <laughs> until I tell you to do them. See, Spencer knows. He's sitting there chill, very relaxed. Okay, let's yeah. start with Connor this time. Connor, what is it? What's the answer, man? Diagnosing or diagnosing the problem. Diagnosing the problem. And 
You know what? What'd you guys write? Diagnosing Safe to say we all got this one right. Diagnosing the problem. Diagnosing the problem. Everybody got that right? Yeah. Everybody? Is it all around? All around? Young yep. guns? Got it. Everybody got it? Diagnosing the problem? Beautiful. That's okay. the answer. Cool. To fully the diagnose the client's challenge. Excellent job, guys. Very good. I, that was a kind of a giveaway. Yeah, that was a little easy. I was thinking Yay. facilitation, but that's part of it, right? Yes, that's how you do it. Okay. That's the action that you take. You need to fully diagnose the client's challenge, okay? All if right. I'm not mistaken, that's actually like the origin of the name blind, right? Like you go into the first business meeting blind, like you don't that make any... Correct. Oh. Mm. That is correct. You're Maybe you should get points for that one. Ding. It's all good. Okay, with a lot of reverb on that. Here we go, guys. Home stretch here. Let's see who can pull away. We're not going to review any scores yet. So we're going to keep it a mystery. Okay, here we go. If we are any good at what we do, we believe, then we should not have to... Mm, can I ask a question about this? What's your question, man? Is this what the book believes, or is this something that the book addresses? It is literally taken from the book. You know, I think we should take points away on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh my god. So Sharif was super confident like two minutes ago, and now he's asking a question. It is literally one of the rules in here, I believe. Or it's in, in the paragraph here. There's not that many words in the book, so uh, I picked this directly from the book. This is a quote well, because from I, the book. I remember this exactly, but I remember it saying that... Uh, this is like, never mind, I'll talk after the, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, don't you don't tip your okay. hat there, okay? Uh, just write yeah. your answer, man. Let's talk in. come on. Do I have a timer? Like an egg timer? Let me sound effects. All right, gentlemen, are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, you need a second, all right. Um, Erica, can you cut to me for a second? I, I want to do a public service announcement. Here's my PSA. A lot of people are fans of the Young Gun series, and there's a couple of people who are hating us. And why are they hating us? <laughs> because they're saying, why all dudes? Why all dudes? And why I do want to I want to take a moment to explain this. Initially, when I put out the casting call for Young Guns, I just put it up on Twitter. I think I also put it on Facebook. So a lot of people weren't paying attention, weren't following me. I said, if you would like to pr try out for this thing, please respond. And only a handful of people responded. The, the wide majority of them that responded were guys. So I don't want to tell you that this was a deliberate action. It was only through a very a quick casting process that we wound up with these five people. And I also wanted to pick people from all over the world at slightly different ages, but really young because they're all getting started in their career. Spencer, as you found out earlier in the show, just graduated from high school while Connor's been working for a couple of years. So they're at the ends of the spectrum in terms of the age group that we have here. However, I want to say Young Guns Season 2 will be all female, okay? And I, I saw a comment on LinkedIn that uh, there was a woman who said, Hey, Chris, we would like to do this, but let's not do young. Let's do old women. So it's like mom guns or something old like that. Old guns. <laughs> well, they don't, we don't want to put the word old, but just, mom guns. Just all women? Some, then? All women? Women, something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I just want you guys to know we're very sensitive to this, obviously, and hopefully through the success and exposure and how these young guns appear, that more people will be encouraged to participate. You do need to have a couple of things. You need to have a sparkling personality that's gonna help. You need to be able to articulate yourself on camera. You need to have a camera, and you need to have fast internet access and be able to do the crazy things that we ask you to do. All right. And to submit. You have to submit when we ask you to submit. All right, enough of that. All right, guys, let's cut to the screen. Let's see here, we'll pick somebody, uh, let's pick Sean to go first. Sean, since your face is like all bright and smiley, what's the answer to No, no, I don't want you to get, no, no, <laughs> hold on, sorry. That was a quick flash frame. We can't have you go first because you're so confident. I want to hear some stupid answers first. Let's go to our room. <laughs> Arun, what you got? <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, be a down dog. Be a down dog. Okay, Arun, what do you have? Uh, lower the price. If we are any good at what we do, we believe then we should not have to lower the price. That's a good That's guess. That's a good answer. Good guess. guess. Yeah, close. It's totally wrong. Okay. Uh. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> All right, so Arun got it wrong. Um, hmm. Let's go to um, Connor then. Connor, what you got? I want to say pitch, but it's not pitch. Um, that's what I've written down, so we'll go with pitch. Or sell. Okay, okay. So you're, you, you can't 
verbalize two answers. You have to show me what you wrote. He said pitch. He's going with pitch. Let me see it. I've, I've literally written pitch. Okay, pitch. So we shouldn't have to Can pitch. I go next, Chris? Hold on, hold on. What does pitching mean to you? Having to compete with other people for the right to take on the job, your expertise, um, and if you're any good at what you do, you shouldn't have to be pitching and competing with other people. You should be the top expert in your field. Okay. So you're like not having that. to compete against other people. They should be coming to you as the top dog or mm -hmm. the most experienced. Okay. So we're going to hold on judgment whether or not you got the answer correct. And I like that you explained it. Okay, Sharif is saying, put me in. Put, put me in, coach. Put me in. So, Sharif. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me in, coach. The reason I asked the question beforehand was because uh, I remember this was in the, the proclamation about selling, about that we look at selling differently. And I remember uh, Blair was talking about how this is like a downfall of creatives that if we are good at what we do, we believe that uh, then we should not have to sell or talk, or talk people into hiring us. So, I wrote sell because I remember he was saying that we have to sell and that this is something that we do wrong, is that we think we don't have to sell because we are good at what we do. Okay, thank you for the explanation. Why did you not write that down? <laughs> I gave you I an hour to write the answer write down. <laughs> and in an hour, you wrote four write letters. That down. Yeah, Why did you was, write that down? It was phrasing yeah. that word right there. So. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, you guys are trying to cheat the, comp the, the game here because they no. all write, write down one word and depending on the dialogue that happens, they're like, let me explain that a little differently. It's this. You need to write it down. Okay, hold on. I'm not gonna also judge whether or not the answer is correct or if it's even valid. Let's go to, um, who else we got? We got Spencer, Spencer and then Sean. Spencer, what's your answer? I wrote pitch or convince. Pitch because or convince. Yeah. And what does that mean to you? Well, kind of like, I feel like they're both kind of in the same realm, but you shouldn't have to convince the client of anything because if we're any good at what we do, you know, as, as far as um, like our understanding, then the client should have trust in that. And then we shouldn't have to convince them to do anything. Like they should just have full faith in us and trust in our decisions. And mm -hmm. everything. All those answers sound the same to me. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I have to ask Spencer a question. Spencer, is there something above you? Is there a teleprompter you're reading off above you? Like, why is your eyeline looking up to the sky? Look I have right a at camera me. beneath my monitor. So I'm yeah. looking up at the monitor. I see, I see. Okay, look right at me. There you go. Okay, that was yeah. a good answer. Okay, last yeah. but not least, Sean, take us home. What's the answer? I also wrote, convince the client. Convince the oh. client. Can you explain, expand on that? Uh, I mean, Spencer pretty much summed it up, but like, yeah, uh, I mean, convincing is, or selling is convincing, right? So okay. you don't want to have to sell yourself to the client if you if you believe you're good at what you do and you okay. can provide value. Perfect. I'm going to give you the exact quote from the book. All right, here we go. It says this, if we're any good at what we do, we believe then we should not have to talk people into hiring us. Several of you guys got that right. So let's, uh, let's cut back to them. So whoever said... Now, this is interesting. I think Sean got it. I think Spencer got it. And for sure, Sharif got it, even though it's kind of technically, I don't kind of like the way he handled that. Now, however, Connor said pitch, and when he explained pitch, he explained it a little bit differently about competition. How, how do we want to judge this? Did he get it right or not? I think he got it right. You're too forgiving. Mark? I think he explained it well. Okay. Well, I'll ask the guns. The guns, do you think Connor got it right? <laughs> They're gonna say no. <laughs> it's a competition. <laughs> I'll I tell you what, Part Connor. Of the job <laughs> I get it. There's a, there's a there's a game to be won here, and it's against their own self interest. And um, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask Connor then. Connor, do you believe that your answer is in the spirit of the answer that we revealed? In the spirit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, you didn't get it right then. Give him the Nope. All right, he was close, but he he kind of if he just left that at pitch, like try to convince, that would have been perfect. But he started talking about competition, where he, that's where I let, I think he danced away from the answer. Okay, guys, I think this could potentially be the last fill in the blank. All right, and then we're gonna reveal who the winner is. Here we go. The more heavily invested we appear to be in the sale the less likely the client will do what? The more invested we are in the sale, the less likely the client will do what? Mm. Hard one, Aaron? It's pretty tough, yeah. It is tough. I'm not sure how I would do if I didn't have the answer sitting in front of me. Mm -hmm. This time, if you one. don't write what you think, I'm not gonna even consider it. No explanations, all right?
You need to write down what it is that you're thinking. You need to commit to it right now. The more heavily invested we appear to be in the sale, the less likely the client will do what? Now I'm gonna go to YouTube for a little bit because I know they have funny answers. <clears throat> Let's see what they have to say. RGR says love Sharif's attitude. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, we're, we're way down here. I'm sorry, I need to catch up to the chat. <laughs> Look at this. Who else thinks Sean is hot? <laughs> <laughs> I was just responding to this. I wasn't going to say it out loud. <laughs> you read it? My DMs are open, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sean, focus on the competition here. Focus Find on the competition. Find me on the DMs. Yeah. I was trying to read the comments. You know, he's like, I worked on his hairdo, man. Guys, I'm, I'm fresh and clean. <laughs> so fresh and so clean. All right. Mm -hmm. The more heavily invested we appear to be in the sale, the less likely the client will do what? Uh, Julian says, hire us. Mm -hmm. Or give us the job. Some people are trust saying us. trust. Trust. Mm -hmm. Sean, this has gone beyond infatuation. So, now, now, L O L W O T <laughs> says, Sean, I love you. Hopefully, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Hey, whatever you're into. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment on this show, guys. Is this your friend's account? And then they're just putting us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here wow. we go. Someone says bailout. That nice. All right, let's uh, let's go to Sean, uh, pretty boy. Let's go. <laughs> what you got? What you got for me, pretty boy? Uh, buy or invest in the sale on their end. Mm -hmm buy or invest in the sales. So the more invested we are, the less likely they are to buy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is not the correct answer. Oh. Try, try my best. At least yeah. your hair is not still good nice. enough. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, who's up next? Uh, let's go to Arun <laughs> for always a laugh. Arun, what you got, dude? I can't see anything. Hire us. Hire us. Can you write that a little Incursive bit smaller Cursive writing. Time? Yeah, thank you. Uh, that is also not the correct answer. Mm. Mm. Everyone on the internet that's in high risk. I, I would have had a problem if that one was correct and mine wasn't, so good. Yeah. Who's next? Who's next? Let's do Connor. Connor, drop some English wisdom on us. Give us control. Give us control. Mm. Interesting no. answer. Good answer, good answer, but that is not the correct answer either. I'm so sorry. Uh, let me give you, um, you? give you this sound effect. Mm. Oh. Okay, so sorry. Ooh. No guns. No guns in the UK. <laughs> no guns in the young ones. <laughs> okay, who's next? Sharif, who's up? Sharif. 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 Okay, I have pursue us. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hold on, go full screen and I yeah. need to see that full screen. Okay. Don't you pursue just love my handwriting? Or show interest. Speak softly and they lean in. Speak loudly and they lean away. There's a lot of information on that. You know, he learned his lesson oh, from the oh, last okay. one. Yes, he did. Okay, you can put that down. It sounds like it that. came from the book. It does sound like it, right? But that's also not correct. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> pain in the ass. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, button. My bad. Okay, and we have one person left, and that's Spencer, right? Uh. <laughs> I wrote by. <laughs> <laughs> you should have wrote BYE. Chris, um, let me try yeah. after. I think I got it. Okay. I think I got this one. So basically, nobody got this one right, right? So if I get it, How about any of these? big points here. Okay, okay. okay first let's go Mark. Mark, not likely to get this, but Mark, what's your answer? Read it to us. I said commit. Commit. No. Nah. Nope. No. Nope. I put pay you a price premium. Pay you think. a price premium. What do you think about that? All, that also sounds like something from the book, and that is also not correct. Dang. Okay. Hmm. All wrong. Here we go, guys. Uh, hold on, hold on. Somebody's calling me. Okay, here's the answer. The answer is this. Hmm. The more invested you are oh. in the sale, oh. the less likely the client will tell us what they're really thinking. Didn't see that coming. Yes. So Seems the problem obvious here, now. It does seem quite I obvious, think. doesn't it? It's because you're so anxious. They're like, oh, I don't want to hurt this kid's feelings. I'm not going to tell you what I feel and that you're not qualified or the budget is a lot lower because I just, I don't want to burst your bubble, man. Mm. I'm really into it. Mm. So this is something that we need to control. We need to control a bit of our enthusiasm when we're too invested. For example, if the clients ask you, to put together an estimate and you do a 35 page document with four c concepts and different designs, what are they gonna say to you right now? Like, ooh, mm, you went overboard on that one. It's like showing up on a date and you're like, you've gone overboard, you, you creep people out. So let's not do that, okay? Okay, that kind of wraps up all the questions that we have for you guys. 
And now, um, this just in, Mark, uh, tell us the score. Now, start from the bottom. Tell us bottom. the last place. Coming in as the first place loser, as no surprise <laughs> to anybody that's tuning in on this channel, is... Arun. Arun! <laughs> what score Woo! is... Whoa! Who don't reveal the screen? Oh, my oh. God! Then oh. why do you have it there? I told you we're going to reveal it one at a time. Okay. Verbally. Coming in fourth place. Fourth place loser is... Is Connor. Connor, oh my gosh. The British Ooh. accent did not carry you through all the e. way. Oh, wow. Then, okay, third place. Third, third place, place is Sharif. Sharif. Sharif, despite all his braggadocio that he's taught people the book, <laughs> came in at third. Okay, third. now, the first, is this called the first runner up or is this first runner up? First runner up. Okay, I don't have dramatic music. Or drum yeah, that's what I like. Okay, is, is Spencer. Spencer. Wow. Right. You know what that means, guys? That means Sean Ooh. Gamble, you are a winner! Man. Woo! Boring. <laughs> hey, hey, don't hate. The, the, the guy has done his homework. He's combed his hair. He's fresh face. Hold on, hold on. And he's looking clean. Look at that guy right there. He's super hot. I wish I had a hot sticker to throw on your face, but good job. I guess you have not, you're now up. Yeah, look at that. You're up two to one. Right? Am yeah, I three. doing math? Three? I, I said or I was going two, for the second two, 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 today, you know, everybody yeah. laughed at me. Everybody laughed at Sorry. you, and you did it. You did it, young man. Good job. Representing Jersey, right? Yes. yes. You had to think about that. You're like, oh. oh. <laughs> Representing uh, Jersey. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you for everybody that kind of tuned in and is playing along with us. I don't want to do that just yet. Hold on. Oh, oh ah! My, my back <laughs> got out of control here. Okay. There we go. All right. Um, let's see, who did you guys predict um, to win this thing? Who, who got the majority of the votes at the beginning? You're asking the internet, right? I'm asking the internet, yeah. Internet, who did you guys think was going to win initially? What are they saying? Let's read some comments, let's you guys, see. before we exit out of the show. These people are saying, give the mic to the gunners. Yeah, some people said, Sean, Arun, you got some love. Oh, he got a lot of love, yeah. Sean. <laughs> Sean oh, Arun. Love. Arun got some love. Oh, Arun? Yep. I didn't see my name at all when you asked the question in the beginning. You didn't see it, huh? So that... Uh, now they come oh. around. So, someone said Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I think that means Arun. Connor. Sean, you're a number one fan. The person who's in love with you, with you said the hot guy wins every time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. There's votes for everybody here, though. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Love in this the stream. Thank you very much. A lot of Connor votes. I think it's the accent. I mean, I can keep reading questions if you want me to. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, Read an outro. You guys did great, you guys. Uh, what was the prize? The prize, uh, what did the boys win today? What did Sean win today? He won absolutely nothing but my respect. Respect. All right, good job. Okay. I'm glad you guys did this, and hopefully you're able to apply what you learned from the book ASAP. Yeah, it's a really yeah. good book. It's a game changer. I don't say that about many books. And the really cool thing is I want to show you guys. I want to show you my copy of the book. Can you guys see this or is it too bright? It's too blown out. Uh, it's too blown Back out. it up a little bit. Blown yeah, whatever. Out. It's okay. Whatever. It's, it's a great book, you guys. And so we'll, we'll randomly pick a few people from the beginning of our chat. Maybe we'll give away three books and we'll send them to you if you guessed it right. So, Mark, can you preserve the chat window? I guess we can. We can. It is now saved in YouTube, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I think it's time for us to wrap up the show because I'm a little bit hungry. So Good I'm, idea. I need Me to too. play us out of this. And let's do this. I'm let's hungry. get out of here. All right. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. See you guys next time.